Hello, welcome to getting started with groups.io. Interacting with the group via email. I'm Vanessa Kier. In this video, I'll show you how to reply to a group message via email, how to post a new topic via email, and the other options you can do using your native email application. So in the last video, I created a new post as an example, and here's how it looks in my email program. It's pretty standard. Who sent it? Inside the brackets here, this is the name of the group. This is the subject line here. The to and reply to are the email address for the group. And then down here is my message, and everything below this horizontal line is the automatic signature that I set up as part of my subscription profile. Now there are several options down here at the bottom. You can view reply online and it actually tells you the message number here. So if you click that link, it will take you out to the web interface. Now, if you notice up here in the right hand corner, I am not logged in, yet it's still showing me the message here. You can also scroll through the messages or you can view all the messages in this topic. If you try to go back to messages, I'm still not logged in, but it is showing me all the messages for the group and I can click on them and get into them without being logged in. But you will notice that my options here on the left are reduced to just going to the home page, seeing messages, or seeing hashtags. None of the subscription or files or any of that stuff is available to you if you're not logged in. Now if we go back to our email, another option is to reply to the group. So I'll just post what I want to say, and I just want to point out something here. All of this is an automatic signature that's attached by my email program. This is something I've set up on my Mac. So I want you to notice what happens when we go and we send this and it goes out onto the web interface. Now here's my message down here. It says fantastic. And this is the piece right here that came from my Mac email. And then it's also showing this piece here because that is what I set up through the groups.io interface. If you remember from the last video, there was an option to have a signature for web posts and a signature for email posts. So if you do have a signature set up on your computer's email program, you might want to go into your groups.io profile and untick the option for including your signature on email posts because otherwise you'll end up with a duplicate signature. I also want to point out that even though I did a reply, all you're seeing on the web interface here is my message and then the signatures. You're not seeing any duplicate text where it repeats the post that you're replying to. So let's see how that shows up in your email program. So here's the email in my email program. And just like on the web interface, all you have is my message. And then there are the signatures down below. And then the usual footer with all the links that groups.io adds to an email. So you need to pay attention to whatever your moderator says. But generally, it's going to be best to reply using these bottom links. Because if I were to go and reply just using my email program, you can already see that just in the draft, it's automatically including the previous message. Now, you might be able to set your individual email program on your computer not to do this, but if this is your automatic default, then it is going to post to everybody's emails with the previous post and people on digest are going to end up with a lot of extra copies of emails. So in, again, in general, it's going to be better 
if you just use the reply to group. Something else that happens when you use the reply via the reply button in your email program is that if I go into a message in the web interface, you'll see that it has this blue rectangle with three white dots. And if I click on that, you can see that now, because I replied using my email, even on the web interface, it's including the previous message, which again is redundant. So unless your moderator has other reasons, it's generally best practice to use those links at the bottom of the email when replying. Another option down here is to reply to sender. This is the same as the private option if you're doing it on the web interface. So if I click that, it opens up a separate email and it's going to go just to the person who posted this. And you can see here in the subject line, it put private and you can see that there's a couple of replies going on here. And then I will send this. And then you can see, although this is a little confusing because I'm just sending it to different versions of myself, you'll notice that while my native Mac email program did include my signature, the groups.io signature was not included here when I did a private message. And just to check, if we go down the thread, this is the last message was my reply via button, which was to the group, but the private message again is not showing up on the web interface. There are some other options. You can mute the topic. You can create a new topic. Let's go ahead and do that. And you'll notice that it sends you right back out to the web interface and it is making you log in. So if you use that link down at the bottom, you can't create a new post without logging into the interface. You can manage your subscription, but again, it's gonna take you out to the web interface. You can send an email to the group owner or you can unsubscribe, which again will take you out to the group. And then it tells you here what email you are posting from. So let's go and see what we need to do to post a new topic from email. To start a new topic from inside my email, I use the group email address and then I just treat it like a regular email, give it a subject, and then type my message. And then again, this is my automatic signature. And then I just hit send. So this is what it looks like when it comes into an email box. And again, even though I just posted it from a direct email link, it did still go ahead and add my email signature for the groups. And again, you have all of your options down here for replying, etc. And you can see it is showing up in my list of messages. And I may not have pointed this out before, but messages that you've caught up with are grayed out and messages that are new that you need to look at are blue. So there we go. So that is the end of the lesson on how to interact with a group from email. I hope you found it helpful. If you have questions, feel free to go ahead and email me at vanessa at thewriterstechstop.com because I know the groups.io help section is a bit limited. So I hope you found this helpful. Happy writing!